Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. My name is Dom and we are going to build a React search bar. So this is how it's going to look like. Now when we start typing inside of our search bar, the results update immediately. Okay, so let me show you how to achieve that. All right, so let's create our React app. So open up your terminal. Uh, I'm gonna use yarn for that. So the command is yarn create react app and then followed by the name. So let's call this simply search bar and hit enter. So let me skip that installation for you. Okay, so once the installation is done, we can open the app in our favorite text editor. And yeah, let's directly jump into our app.js where all the magic will happen. And as a first thing, let's remove this stuff here, which we won't be needing anymore, as well as in app CSS. So we will keep this app CSS, but let's remove all this stuff inside of that, okay? So the first thing I want to add is the, the, yeah, the data, which we will be fetching immediately without performing a, a search. So for that, we will be fetching data from a Rick and Morty API. So for that, we are going to use a module called Axios, which uh, will perform our HTTP requests. So you can add this by typing yarn at Axios inside of your terminal. So let's do this. Once this is done, we can import our module right here at the top of our app. Say import Axios from Axios. Okay. And now to yeah, actually fetch the data right at the beginning or immediately when we start our app, we will be needing the use effect hook. So let's import that now. So import from React like that. And down in our app function, we can call it. All right, and we need to pass an dependency array. So this whole action will be performed only one time. Okay, so now let's create a GIF function inside of our use effect hook where we will be fetching the data name it fetch data this needs to be async okay and yes yeah, since we are performing an async function let's wrap it in a try catch this so if our yeah, get request fails, we want to throw an error and say console error, pass the error object. And our request will look like that. So let's create and destruct the data object from our result. And here we say await axios get request. And here we have to pass the endpoint we are going to use back, back text for that. And let me copy the URL. Okay, this looks like that. I want to, I, I'm going to pass it down in the description so you can copy that. So the Rick and Morty API, and we are going to fetch the characters. So this request will return by default 21st characters from from their database so when this action succeeds we do get an object back and and result with 20 characters so let's what we what we want to do now is to save them actually in our state so for that we are going to use the use state hook which we need to import it as well and then here we can create our const which we will be naming characters and here as the initial value we pass an empty array 
And now here in our try block, we then can say set characters and set it to the results object. Now, what we have to do else is to call the fetch data function inside of our React, uh, inside of our use effect hook. Okay, so now we have the data in our state, so we can continue by displaying it in, uh, inside of our app. So for that, let's create a new div with the class name of results. And inside of it, we can map over the characters object or array. So let's say characters.map. And here for each character, let's say character, we return, so we use round brackets. And here we say a new div. And we are going to return the name, the character, as well as the image. Okay. Inside of source, we say character.image. As an alt attribute, we can, yeah, let's say character.name as well. Okay, so now let's check if this is working. So let's start our development server with yarn start. Okay, and as you see, we get the characters with the image and the name. So this already works fine. Now let's yeah, continue with, yeah, let's add some CSS maybe. Okay, so inside of App CSS, we going to display the results, results or result, I named it results, okay. And here we can say display grid. Um, let's make a gap of 15 pixels and say grid template columns, repeat four times that. Okay, so what we are going to do see now is the script okay mm. let's add maybe a max width of 1200 pixels margin left of auto as well as margin right of auto to center this div okay so this looks already good now so now we can start by creating our input or in our, our search search bar. So for that, here inside of app, let's add a new div. Let's give it a name, class name of search. And here we are going to add an input field of type text, which will be our search bar. So let's add also a placeholder which says search character um, okay let's give it a class name of input okay so what we want to do here now is to um, set a query when we start typing. So for that, we need to create a new state variable. Let's name it query. And initially we set it to an empty string. Now to set yeah, the value of the input to our state, we need to call the onChange event. And here we can simply say event. Okay, we pass event. And then we set query to whatever it is event.target.value. And also the value of our input field will be our query variable. So now we set the input's value to our query. And what we now need to do is to actually pass our query to our 
yeah to our get request okay so that for we used already the back ticks so we can use the templates the template string where we can pass variables so now we need to pass the query and this is going to look like that so we say question mark and add a, a yeah an url parameter and say name is and then we say dollar and then we use the curl braces and here inside we pass our query now now this means when we start our application this query uh, query variable is empty so we don't get yeah, a search result so we get 21st uh, characters but when we set our query we want to yeah we want to fetch again so right now this use effect hook is yeah is only only called one time to change that we need to pass the query inside of our dependency array so now each time when query changes so that means when we start typing in our input field this use effect hook is called and we fetch the data from the api and as our query changed we pass a um, yeah, search query and then our results should change as well so inside of our application before we uh, try that let me add some some more css so search i'm gonna say text line sender give it a background color of dark gray and yeah maybe some padding as well as for input we set font size to 25 pixels should be fine uh, maybe let's add here some spacing so let's say margin top 15 pixels all right and now we get our 21st characters so when we now start typing for example let's type rick we see that the results are changing and we only get yeah search re results which fit to our search query all right if we remove that and start typing bev we only get bev characters yeah and that's pretty much of it i hope you liked this video if you did like hit the subscribe button as well as the like button and i hope to see you in the next video bye bye